Hello everyone, I am Wakana Maeda from Fujitsu Laboratories. I would like to talk about dataset properties and degradation of machine learning accuracy with anonymized train dataset. With the spread of machine learning, use case of using personal data for train data are increasing. Machine learning is to let the machine run a rule from data. Learning makes it possible to make predictions for unknown data. For example, in the sales promotion system on shopping site, we would like to issue discount coupon to hesitating buyers. However, it is difficult to predict it. Therefore, we use machine learning to model patterns of hesitating buyers from the behavior data on the site. Then we can predict it by the trial model. By the way, if you use personal data, you will be worried about privacy, right? This case is at the risk of breaking train data. For example, if a model constructor has access to the raw data set, personal data may be taken out and leaked. In addition, if the trial model releases it, a model user may leak train data from the model. How can we preserve privacy? As a requirement, train data set must be preserved from both model constructors and model users. There are two popular plans. One is differential privacy. The other is syntactic anonymity. We focus on key anonymity because it has fewer works. What is anonymization? Anonymization is the processing data so that no individual can be identified. An example is the popular key anonymization. When the parameter k equals 2, the data on the left is modified into the right. If adversaries try to identify Alice, they cannot narrow down Alice's record from the table on the right to less than two records. By processing the train data in this way, even if the train data is rigged, the amount of information is less. There are various anonymization depending on how to prioritize attributes to be kept. Which anonymization method should be used to reduce degradation of accuracy? It's unknown because it depends on dataset. Even if comparing anonymization methods gives any result, applying them to another dataset will show a different degradation trend from the result. The same anonymization does not cause similar degradation of accuracy for all datasets. Even if an anonymized dataset shows less degradation of accuracy, it does not guarantee that similar degradation will be derived from other datasets. For example, consider the degradation caused by two different key anonymization methods. The mutility method is for use in machine learning. The entropy method is for publishing dataset. The dataset are necessary and adult from user repository. This figure shows the accuracy of the trained models. The horizontal axis K represents the anonymity parameter. And K equals 1 represents the use of the original dataset for training, and the others use anonymized dataset. The greater the value of K, the more data is destroyed and the more strongly privacy is preserved. The mutuality method is considering the dependency between the prediction class and other attributes when choosing values to be discharged, while the entropy method does not. 
the majority method has been expected to consistently have less degradation of accuracy because it considers class dependency. However, the results vary across datasets. There is not enough information to choose a better anonymization method for a new dataset. Simple comparison results are not enough information. When anonymizing a new train dataset, which method will have less degradation of accuracy, the mutuality method or the entropy method? The results of this experiment show that it is difficult to find an effective method for a new dataset. To enable us to choose an effective anonymization method for a train dataset, we need to be able to estimate it by checking the properties of dataset. A dataset has a characteristic of comprising various properties. By clarifying the magnitude of degradation caused by anonymization with respect to the dataset properties, we can choose an effective method to anonymize a new dataset from the properties. However, it is difficult to make a dataset property based comparison because it is hard to find datasets that differ only in one property. It is a problem. Even if we could find another dataset with a different property from a certain dataset, the found dataset would have other properties besides the target property that would differ. To solve the problem, we propose a method to measure and compare the magnitude of degradation of accuracy caused by anonymization with respect to the dataset properties. The key idea is to generate datasets that have differences in only one property by ordering that property from the original dataset. An advantage is that it enables us to measure and compare degradation with a focus on only one dataset property. The evaluation was done using experiment. The details of the experiment will be explained later. We experimented to confirm whether the proposed method can capture the consistent impact of dataset property on degradation of the accuracy caused by anonymization. We could capture the consistent impact on the two dataset properties. In addition, we could determine better anonymization from dataset property in the experiment. Next, we will explain the details of the evaluation experiment. We use two datasets from usual repository, adults and nursery. Adult dataset has a task to classify into two classes, high income or low income. Nursery dataset has a task to classify applications for nursery school into four ranks. We evaluated machine learning performance in terms of accuracy. We used non anonymized test dataset. Changing accuracy due to anonymization is measured by the difference in accuracy between anonymized train dataset and the original train dataset. Next is the method of anonymization. We use cell suppression for k anonymization. This method suppresses the values on a cell by cell basis to satisfy k anonymity. This anonymization requires to specify the priority of the attribute whose values should be kept. We use two priorities. The priority based on mutual information minimizes the distortion of attribute with high dependence on the class attribute. 
this is designed based on the assumption that the data set will be applied to training. The priority based on information entropy minimizes the loss of information entropy of a data set. This is designed for the release of data sets. Next, we focus on the dataset property and try to capture the consistent impact of dataset property on degradation of accuracy cost by anonymization. We compared it between the dataset generated by altering the property from the original dataset. As for the properties to be altered, we extract the property that are clearly different between adult and nursery dataset. They are the presence of numeric attributes, the number of classes, and dataset size. As a result, we could capture the consistent impact of the numeric attribute and the number of classes. This time, we will only mention these two. Numeric attributes were compared to when removed from the dataset. The number of classes was compared using the two cases. They are the deduction of the number of classes by integration or deletion as shown in the example below. First, we will look at changes in accuracy due to the presence of numeric attributes using adult dataset. The vertical axis showed accuracy, and the horizontal axis showed the values of the anonymity parameter k. When the dataset has numeric attributes, the entropy method is significantly degraded. If the numeric attributes are removed, degradation of accuracy will be low. This result showed that the numeric attributes have a large effect, especially for the entropy method. It turns out that the entropy method is not suitable for datasets containing numeric attributes. Next, we will look at changes in accuracy due to the number of classes using nursery datasets. When the number of classes is reduced, the degradation of accuracy had been improved. Looking at the degree of improvement, the mutuality method is larger. Conversely, it can be said that the accuracy of the mutual method will significantly degrade if a dataset has multi class. When a dataset has multi class, the entropy method may be suitable. We will summarize today's presentation. In order to enable practitioners to choose an effective anonymization method by checking the properties of trained datasets, we propose a method is to generate datasets that have differences in only one property by altering that property from the original dataset. It enables to measure and compare degradation with a focus on only one dataset property. Evaluation experiment showed that the proposed method could capture the consistent impact of dataset property. In addition, we could determine better anonymization from dataset property in the experiment. In the future, we need to be able to use this design to estimate the effect of combining multiple properties. Thank you for listening.